What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon 151 opening. Uh, this break is for our patron and good friend, A-Rod. Uh, it's been a while. Great to hear from you. And so he has an ETB plus another eight packs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's get into the ETB so we can just don't have to just take a break in between. And um, yeah, so we've done two opening or no, what was it? Three? No, two openings so far on YouTube. I've done some off camera and I think our best pull would be, actually check it out last video. <laughs> I'd say we had a very solid opening in that two ETB opening, but uh, I will spoil that we do not have yet to pull any of the base set starters. Uh, so I don't think A-Rod had any specific requests, but that just means he wants the uh, the big chases, which are gonna be those base set starters. Obviously targeting that Charizard would be ideal. So best of luck, here we go. Thanks for sponsoring this video and thanks for being a patron. Here we go to pack number one. Still really feeling the art and everything. All right, we're gonna skip through after this pack. All right, so pack number one, we got a Ponyta, Seedra, and then an Electrode. All right, sorry for that brief pause. Just had to do something on the app I use to record so it doesn't have that little like watermark. Um, I was actually gonna look into getting like the pro version to remove the watermark, but I guess you can just watch like a surprisingly long ad on the phone and then you can uh, yeah, get rid of it. So here we go, pack number two, Machamp. Oh, I think the Machoke alt art looks really cool. All right, pack number two is a Marowak. So 0 for two and um, yeah, definitely. Definitely, my opinion has not changed on this set. I think it's very well designed. I do think there were some room for a lot more interesting cards. Like, um, I think, for example, like the birds. Like, why only one? Uh, although, I can, I do appreciate how... Okay, we got a full art. Oh, all right, we're going to talk about this card in a second. But, you know, where's the other birds? A nice Mewtwo, Dragonite. A lot of potential for some nice alt arts. And we got a Venusaur, so we do have a hit. But, man, you know, when it comes to getting these quote-unquote secret rares, 182 out of 165, and to get, like, a starter, but then to get the full art is, you know, I guess it's to be celebrated, but, oh, still a lot to, to be desired. Centering is not great, but it's okay. It's just a full art, so we are on the board. But um, let's let's keep improving. I think we're I think these, all these packs are from the ETB, and then the other ones are from some of those binder collections. All right, so on the board, but let's keep going. Poly, I think there's an Altar Polyworld too. Polywag, <laughs> Polyrag maybe. All right, Zapdos EX. Okay, so the hits are coming. Okay, we do have. All right, so I think um, let's see if we can find a swirl. Not a big deal these these energies, but I do appreciate the. Oh, I do see a swirl on the top. Can't kind of see it. It does remind me of the kind of like vintage hollow pattern, so I do appreciate that. And we got a Zapdos, so hits are coming in. Now let's just get some alt arts and then we'll be really up and running. See for you as well. So hope you all are doing well. Uh, this is being recorded and should be posted on release day on Friday. And um, yeah, if you're out there in the wild, I do think this is a very fun set, but just, you know, have, you definitely have to adjust your expectations. You know, you won't get Crown Zenith pull rates or, you know, any of the other special sets, Hidden Fates, Shiny Fates, and that kind of stuff. It's, as far as like pack ratio seems similar to like a regular set where, I'm not sure if this is still the case, but one, one every five, six packs, something like that, maybe, actually maybe now it's even better. Yes, yeah, so used like 10. So I guess it's like every four packs. And actually, maybe that's about the about right. But you know, if you get unlucky, you go through an ETB and not have anything to show for it, can be very frustrating. So um, tread lightly with this set. War Turtle. Oh, I do want. Obviously, we want the turtle, <laughs> the turtle alt arts, and a Jolteon. This is another thing. Actually, I don't mind it, but yeah, I guess you could argue there's a window of opportunity to put some nice, nice evolutions. But they've been pushed pretty hard, you know, ever since uh, Evolving Skies and stuff like that. Just been so many different in like the gallery cards, so they've been hit pretty hard. I don't mind them, 
but I do think, you know, the Galarian birds, I feel like they missed the mark and they're not super popular. Uh, so this was an opportunity to bring some nice alt arts and the Zapdos is beautiful and it does feature all three, but just saying, um, picture like, remember those, pro Ooh, we got another reverse energy. Some like the really early on promos, I think it was for like the movie and they had the birds and they're kind of like make like one picture kind of thing. I, don't know, I think they could have easily did that with just the art from the Zapdos, something like that. thought that would have been cool, uh, nostalgic in a number of ways. So, But again, still very happy with the set. Still enjoying it, but yeah, it's just tough. So set your expectations appropriately so you don't get too disappointed potentially. All right, this is two packs left in the ETB, I believe. Dragon Puccini into a Gengar. Gengar is usually pretty cool. This art is a little underwhelming. If someone told me that was like a artist competition, I'd be like, Ooh, good job. But um, all right, let's keep moving. So yeah, obviously there's a lot more products to come out, like the UPCs in a little bit. Was that like August or October? First week in October, and that will feature the Mew promo. So I do appreciate that those are a promo versus you have to chase it. Starmie. Oof. All right, so we did get two hits, but no alt arts. Move on to the extra packs. But um, yeah, they printed a lot of the Charizard UPCs. I guess time will tell, but my suggestion would be do not pay more than 120 for those boxes. A wheezing. All right, we need really need to shape up here. But actually, the previous <laughs> opening definitely recommend you check it out. Started off rough, very very similar to this actually. Maybe a little rougher, <laughs> but uh, definitely feels similar. All right, getting a lot of base set. Pokemon. Okay, there we go. It Ammonite, not like you know, not the most exciting Pokemon, but I do really think that art is good. Um, yeah, you got the Kabutos, and I don't know, he's just cute. Uh, I got Amistar and some Kabutos back there. I don't see a Kabutops, but um, all right, we, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, again, the first half of the openings are usually pretty weak, but then there's like one pack that just brings it home. I don't know what this thing is going for these days. I'm sure it'll be a, like a race to the bottom, but as far as the supporters, this has to be the one people are looking for, right? So congrats, A-Rod, that is a awesome pack. Let's take a look at the centering. Erica's Invitation. Very nice card. And, ooh, that looks... I want to say that it looks very good. Hey, right, if you're interested in getting this graded, let me know. Pink sleeve for you. And let's check out the cute little fossil Pokemon. Mm, I feel like the right side might be a little bit thicker. Yeah, definitely. You can. I think it's more noticeable here. I'm gonna put this in a perfect fit so we can refer to it in the future if you are interested. Getting that graded. But my thought, think, my, my thought is that's a nine. All right, now we can. <laughs> now we're just going for a great a god opening uh, because I feel like at least we got some excellent hits. And wow, that was just a great pack. Another reverse energy. So yeah, if you have opened up some product, I am curious to hear from you guys how things are going. Yeah, I do feel like it's it can be definitely feast or famine. Um, just just like this opening, we're I don't know, 12 packs in, and there's just been one pack that all the value came from. So I definitely think you know if you're going for like one like one product and you got the four pack thing, that's ooh that's that's very high risk, high risk, high reward. All right, we got four packs remaining. So we're kind of like into like the second uh, binder thing. And again, the binder, very solid product. I believe I will put together a master set. And I'm sure there's gonna be so much product open, it'll be very cheap to pull, like to buy on the secondary market, like 95%, 96% of the set. And I think it'll just make a nice thing for the bookcase. Just, you know, oh, just kind of bored. Look through the nice artworks. Because actually, I think this is perfect because honestly, I think the 
even like the regular art I think is above average for this set. Yeah, Vulpix, that's cute. Right on. Then Mr. Mime. <laughs> we did get an alt art Mr. Mime. Actually, I think I said look like they're trying to like hypnotize each other. I'm going to change that. I was looking at it um, afterwards. I was like, oh man, they're playing chess. That is so cool. It looks like they're like in a park and two of them are sitting, but obviously they're not sitting on anything because they're miming that one of them has his hand like this, uh, kind of like this, and I believe they are playing chess. We got a bunch of these energies. Nothing to write home about, but um, I'll always take them. All right, so I think hit wise, like, Definitely would never call this one a bust, but we got two packs to just make this opening insane. So I feel like I've never seen anything in this first slot. It seems like it's always the second one and then the, the rare slot, but um, obviously people have told me about these God packs. I haven't seen one yet, but Krebby into, ooh, I thought we had something for a second. It is a Golem EX. That's, I really like that art. It looks like he's about to self-destruct. So yes, strongly recommend uh, Binder and I don't, I, I don't do that for any set, but because they have a Binder for this set, I think it just, that's the, that's the only nudge I needed to put that on my radar as far as things to do. All right, last pack, A-Rod. Thank goodness for that one pack. Um, here we go, last pack, Magic. Maybe not Card Charmeleon to a Machamp. So... Um, yeah, I don't know what the prices are, but Erica's invitation's got to be the supporter uh, people are looking for. Ammonite, nothing crazy, but I think it's a very solid art. So I would call that above average. Again, the pull rates can be very tough on this set. So um, best of luck if you do find, if you are opening up some products. Again, I have to imagine this set is not going to be too hard to find. So don't pay over MSRP. And um, but yeah, thanks for watching, Era. Thanks again. Um, Appreciate all your support. Thanks, everyone. I'm Juan Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.